Hi, everybody, and welcome back to part nine of Let's Get to Know Sunlight Tides. We left off, and she is at a random party. I can't remember if it was Leisure Day. Yeah. Okay. It is Leisure Day, and she is at her boyfriend's house for just a little Leisure Day. It's supposed to be a pool party, but it is raining outside, so the party kind of got moved inside, which, whatever, sucks, but... They're going to make it through. Oh, look. Julian Strong is having the time of his life right here. Um, posing like that. Later on today, I'm almost positive. What? He just disappeared. He just disappeared. Okay. <laughs> Let me fix this. Uh, it's so frustrating. Like, for my different LPs, I have aging on in one. I have aging off in one. And I have the lifespan long in one, the lifespan short. It's just very, very, very confusing. But anyways, I'm pretty sure that Tamika here has a bachelor ad party later because she is getting married to her boyfriend. I'm sorry, her fiance. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm such a dork, but um, she's going to throw herself a little bachelor ad party, I think. I don't even know, honestly. I think, I can't remember if we actually um, called and set up the party or it was going to be something that we were going to do later. I can't remember. But regardless, she's going to have a bachelorette party in this part and then maybe get married, I don't know, in the next part. I have a hard time um, figuring out, oh my god, Julian's attracted to Tanika. Okay. Um. Griffin is a snob. Is that your boyfriend? That's your boyfriend, right? Um, gosh, where was I? Where's my brain at? Like, where is it at? Um, can't find it. <laughs> I always struggle with how many parts I should do on each family. I don't know. So if you can give me your feedback on that, like how many parts is good for you. Do you like having two parts, three parts, four parts? I won't go over four parts, but I don't know. Do you guys, it, I guess, to me, it kind of depends on the family and what's going on in their life right now. Like, she's getting married and stuff like that, and I kind of want to be here for that. But maybe not. Um, okay, yeah, her party's starting soon, so I'm going to send her home. So she is throwing a, she is throwing a party. Um, yeah. <laughs> Also, I will have the wiki for the Sims 3 Sunlit Tides world linked in the description. So you guys can choose the next family for me to play with. And um, all you do is leave in a comment. And if I have multiple comments for a certain family, then um, I most likely will listen to you guys. A lot of times, people don't really say what family they want me to go to. And I want this to be like super interactive. I want you to have a say. So please have a say. That would be fantastic if you do. But it should be really fun having a bachelorette party in this house, you know. Shit is already broken everywhere. The TV is broken, the sink's broken, the toilet's clogged and moldy. I think we're just having a little bit of issues here at the Wahine house to hold just a tad. So I'm going to have him call a repair technician because I don't think anyone has a good enough skill to do this without possibly getting killed. So, you know, yeah, we're just going to have leave that in someone else's hands. So if anything goes wrong, the repair, the repair technician will die instead. I know that is like so rude. <laughs> okay, um, he wants to swim in the ocean, which you live on the ocean, don't you? It's kind of a little bit laggy, but, uh, yeah, bro, go for it. You just walk out of your backyard. Well, sort of have to walk down a hill, which, oh my gosh, what a hassle. Black, can you stop? Can you stop? <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to have him just go here and try to swim in the ocean just so he can get what he wants and get his way other than that I think we should work on the house a tiny bit before okay no everyone's already starting to get here I think this should be fun having a bachelorette party with like your little brother around that's cute oh is this her dress that's pretty cute Tamika 
You go, girl. You work that sass. You do it. Why the heck are you going to scold her? She put a prank in the sink. No. I don't know what she's, what her problem is. Uh, I'm going to pause the game for a second. And see if the lag gets any better. I cry every time. Okay. We'll see. We'll see about the computer. That's it. You're ground. How can you ground your little sister? Just don't see how that works out. Okay. Um, the house looks like a mess, and we're about to have a bunch of chicks show up and party. Tanika, your phone is ringing. Hello. She's pissed. <laughs> Get over it, Luna. Okay, well, I guess she didn't want to talk to that person. We'll go ahead and mop this up. Here comes the repair guy. Thanks for showing up, Domingo. Oh, my gosh. Honey, please stop. Like, literal honey the cat. We have broken stuff everywhere in this house. It is literally getting out of hand. It's a bit crazy. Broken sink, broken bath, broken TV, broken everything else. Like, oh my gosh. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the uncanny skill that these sims have at breaking stuff? Props to you, babes. Um, go ahead and just have some leftovers after that. I don't know what Leah's doing. He's just standing on the beach, like, aimless. Okay, you go play in the water, dude. You have fun with that. I wish we could pick up these starfish, but we can't. It sucks so much. Um, anyways... How about you, like, get out of the hail? There's an idea for you. Oh my gosh, who would have known? The repairman, please. Can she use this toilet? Oh, she doesn't need to use the toilet. Got it. Got it. And someone's in the bath, Luna. Okay, this house, I thought it was cute at first, but it's a little cramped. Like, there's not enough bathroom space. Especially when everything's broken. Tweaky, what are you doing, little boy? How about you, like, play some video games? Because that's what little boys do. At least I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what little boys do. I don't want to know. I really don't. He's going to come join. How cute. He's going to respond to a question from Tanika. Tanika, whatever happened to your party? Did literally no one show up? Nobody showed up? Did that actually happen? Nobody showed up to your party. Like, no one gives the crap? That is so incredibly sad. I'm going to get a, um, a radio so they can listen to some music. I guess she can like party at home with her family. Whatevs. Forget the haters. And um, yeah. We can just party alone. No shame in a uh, pity party. No shame in the game. I'm not shaming ya, Tanika. Okay, so we'll put that in here. I'm gonna use alt to like push it against the wall. There we go. Leo is having a bad day. Well, why? Maybe because you went swimming in the hail. That made me kind of feel like crap as well. So let's turn this on and let's change it to. Uh, blah, 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 blah. How about Electronica? And can somebody please control the damn cat? Oh my god. It is just rabid and going crazy. Oh, don't praise it. No, 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 no. Okay, let's, let's scold it. 
Can we just please get the cat to stop? I don't even know what it's scratching. It is scratching the air. It is just going at that air like no other. It is tearing the air apart. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Okay, well, now, okay, he's fixing that crap. Okay. Don't know why she's already in bed. This is the most depressing bachelorette party I think that I have ever seen in my entire simming life. The only person that came was the repairman, and we totally hired him. So that's odd. We can just have her, like, chat with him, I guess. Oh, okay. She can shoot him out and take a bath instead. Please don't shoo him. He's fixing the stuff. Okay. This bathroom is disgusting. I'm going to hire a maid. Um, Just because they have so much money. We're going to have Leo go ahead and hire a maid for them. Where is it? Services. Call for services. And we are totally going to hire a maid. There's no question. Okay, maid. Otter rides. Okay, we got that done. Um, one thing in The Sims 3, I think it's super hard to throw a party. First of all, because The Sims 3 is laggy and parties just are not good. And um, all The Sims always just stand at the front door and have routing issues, and it is super annoying. Plus, it's like. Sometimes it's literally a huge fail like this. No one comes. Everyone's just getting in bed and nobody is in the mood to party. It is just the biggest fail. So I hope Leilani Leilani Cahale would like to chat. The squeaky what he wanna chat. Sure. Um I hope in Sims 4 the the way parties work, I hope that's a little better. I hope parties are funner. I don't know how you would do that though. I don't really know how to make this funner. I guess just do it. Work your magic, EA. But that's really sad. I would be so incredibly sad if I tried to have a bachelorette party and no one showed up. I would be like crushed. Okay, it is past your bedtime, young man, and you're sitting there talking with, I think that's your cousin. <laughs> What? Why? Sleep in Tweaky's bed. You are Tweaky, so let's just keep talking in third person. Let's do it. Um, the cat did that. Oh my gosh, I will kill you. I'm going to murder that cat. That cat is, will be the death of me, so in return I will do this. I will make it the death of it. Okay, we'll, we'll forget about the bathroom until the morning. We're just gonna have her go to bed. All right, and then I will pick up in the morning. All right, let's go see what the Wahims are up to this morning. Nothing, because they're all still asleep besides Sarah, because she went to bed, like, so quick last night. So guess what you're going to do, honey bunny? You're going to clean the bathroom. Yep, you are going to clean until pristine. And, um, un no, you have work an hour. Well, you still gotta clean this crap. You just gotta do it. Um, I, and then, after that, I guess you can have some cereal before you go to work, and mm, you can go to the bathroom at work. You're pretty good, girl. You are pretty, pretty good. Um, doesn't everybody else have school? What is up with that? Okay, she does. She's totally gonna go use this toilet. And then her homework is crap. And so she definitely... Okay, for some reason she can't do the homework. Don't know what that's about. Maybe because she's sleeping or something like that. I don't really know don't let me click on it whatever we'll just let her do what it do and be a horrible student 
Um, he's gonna wake up and play video games. What have I created? Now you're going to eat some, okay, goopy carbonara for breakfast, whatever. I created Monster, I just let him play video games, and now he's obsessed. Okay, so she's got to go to work as a journalist. So bye-bye, have fun at work. And Leo here, I don't, I forgot about what his job is. He is a patrol officer and it starts in two hours. So he's making something a little bit better for himself since he has the time. No, just kidding, he has to go. <laughs> he has to go. Oh gosh, did you see that? Okay, yeah, let's just leave that on the stove. No, are you, <laughs> are you like, are you all there in your heads? You don't just walk off and leave your pancakes on the stove and go to work. I know work is important, but hey, I'm pretty sure that burning down your house is a uh, pretty, not burning down your house is a pretty important thing as well. What is our problem? Go to school, you little brat. Oh my god. Oh, what is you guys' problem? Okay, and he's going. Um, so that leaves Tanika. What are you doing? Luna, go to school. Okay, so Tanika. She... Have you ever wondered why the paper boy is like a little child and uh, it's like, do they go to school even? I don't know. Um, Tanika is a spice runner and she does that in the afternoon. So she's going to get up and um, I don't know what she's going to do with herself today. I'm feeling like that she needs to just go elope with the guy. Um... Because I know that it said in the description, which I forgot to read in the introduction episode to the Wahines. I totally forgot to read the description, so I posted it in, like, the actual video description. But it said that her family does not like her, her man. So I think it would be fitting for her to just, like, run and go elope. And plus, no one cares. No one even came to her bachelorette party. And it was pretty depressing. So I feel like if she tried to throw a party it might end up the same way and then that'll just be really ox <laughs> no one showing up to your wedding that would be like really really ox like you would have to i don't even know and i'm pretty sure she has like some decent friend well maybe not i don't know why they didn't come they were just like well we hate you so i don't know oh well you win some and you lose some that is something that we all need to live by and think about. You win some and you lose some. So we're going to have her get out of here and go to that guy's house. Where did he live? I forgot. His name was, um, how about we just invite him over? Invite over. And let's, let's see how this works. Okay, he's busy for four hours. Well, um, that's, that's kind of lame. Who's that? Oh, they're cheap. This woman is attracted to, like, everyone. Oh, no, he's attracted to Sarah. Okay, well, my bad. Okay, so cool. Now we got a maid to clean up all this junk. Tanika doesn't know what to do with herself quite Honestly, um, maybe she'll go to the hideaway. I don't even know what the hideaway is, but whatever. Oh, no one's here. I need to, like, put in that little bistro set or something here. You know, so it doesn't, it's not so empty and Sims actually come here and want to do stuff. I'm totally just going to have her go to, like, the bookstore or something and shop for books. That's probably what I would do if I had... $43,000 chilling in the bank. I would go shop for some books. So, yeah, the more you know. Let's go. Let's go. That's her place of work that she has to work later. 
Oh, look at this bookstore. I will never get tired of this world. It is amazing. And I, okay, I hate to keep talking about Sims 4, but can you, like, I just, I can't wait to see what they come up with for it. You know, the extra worlds and stuff like that. It's, I don't know. I am so excited for The Sims 4. So excited. Um, I don't think I want comic books or anything like that for her. I think I would rather get her, like, um... Just a general book. The Warlock of Palladia, sure thing. Where is Bella? Where is Bella? No one knows. <laughs> well, we do know she's in Sunset Valley and chilling and dating Mortimer in my other LP. Except for not really dating passive plays that pay. Whatever. We just can get some random books. Let's meet Maria Ernest. Hi, Maria. What's up? I have some new gifts to accept. That's cool. Who sent me gifts, you guys? So sweet. Um, I'll probably use them in the Emma, in the life of Emma Underwood Let's Play. I'll probably use your gifts that you send me in that one. The school newspaper is doing an annual cultural cur why can't I talk? Culture edition, and you've been asked to research for the feature article. Interview a sim from France. Okay, we're not going to France. Definitely not. Hello, Maria Ernest. We would like to stand in the rain and chat with you. Say hey. We'll chat. Wow, it's so entertaining. I know. A small collection of relics earned is... Okay, we're not traveling to China. You guys are just trying to make us blow money and traveling. Um, anyways, let's head home. After going to the bookstore, we're stopping by... Oh, look, there's a horsey! She get... I was about to, like, to say, like, oh, she's just, like, gonna climb in this cab with... Oh, we're about to run over her cat. She's about to climb in this cab with us and go. Your boss wants to ensure the public knows about the officers patrolling the neighborhood. Take the time to visit three of your neighbor's other homes to get on your boss's good side. And improve your chances for a promotion. We can do that, I suppose. Oh, that was weird. They got home at the exact same time. Everyone hates that plant. What ha oh, the cat killed it. That's what happened. The cat killed the plant. Oh, kitty cat. When will you ever learn? Okay, you guys. I think that... Sarah, how are you already home? Your your hours are, like, really short. Um, I think you should serve up some lunch. Probably some mac and cheese. But, okay. Someone hate They hate... There's another plant in here that these guys hate. I gotta find it. I've got to find it. They just can't get it off their mind. They're just like, I really hate that plant. They can't even deal. Okay, which one of them was the gardener? The one that liked to garden. That was Luna. That was Luna. Okay. When she gets home, I'm gonna have her come tend the garden out back. Okay. And she is going to work. Okie dokie. Oh my god. I literally just bought a new one. <laughs> Kitty cat, you are going to be the end of me. You are. You are. You are frustrating me so much. <laughs> I suppose we should get a freaking scratch post. Um, how can we blame the kitty cat when we don't even have a scratch post for the poor thing? We're going to have to do that. We'll put it in... Um, we'll just put it in the girl's room? No. <laughs> I don't know where to put this thing. Uh, back? Is that weird to put it outside? I don't know. It's like that's a fun. No, let's just put it like right here. Um, have a heyday, kitty cat. You can scratch that. I don't care. 
Oh my gosh. There we go. Cool beans. What is she going to scold her for now? I feel like Luna just takes the shit for everything. She stands there and she takes it like a, like a adult. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Luna has to go to work. You are... Oh, wait. No, she doesn't. I don't know what's happening. I don't even know. Okay. Girl, no need to freak out. Don't just calm your tits, okay? Um, I would like for... What's her name? Luna to come out back and work on the garden. Oh, she has to go to work. Just go. Just go to your job. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here, guys. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do another part on the Wahin family because I usually stick to doing three parts, but sometimes I do four. I just feel like that messes up the flow of things, though. Like, and it messes up my OCD. Like, one family will have four parts and one family will have three. I can't decide if I want to do three or four parts on each family. I don't know. How about you guys help me decide and comment down below how many parts that I should be doing on each family during these Let's Plays, these Let's Get to Know series. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up to show me that you did and to support me and um also in case i don't do another part in the wahine family then please 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 leave it down below in the comments what family in sunlit tides you would like to see next i will have a sunlit tides wiki link in the description so you can click that and it has a list of all the families in sunlit tides and you can kind of pick one out and um just let me know in the comments which family you are liking best and yeah <laughs> if you're not subscribed to my channel i would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to me like oh my goodness guys thank you i am almost at 700 subscribers it just happened pretty much overnight and i am so grateful i just i i, I guess i still don't believe it honestly um i worked so hard for a couple months and i'm finally getting somewhere and it is like the best feeling it is the best feeling and i just want to say thank you and that i appreciate it so much don't ever think that i do not appreciate it because i do like a lot um i'm almost at 700 so if you're not subscribed i would appreciate it if you would to help me reach that goal and i hope that you all have an amazing day <laughs> I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.